Hey folks, this is Nash Rock Steve. You can see I'm standing here in front of my biggest project yet, this large oversized garage, um, 60 feet by 37 feet. Um, started taking this on this spring, and just recently we set the trusses, which was a big deal for us to do, having never, having never done that before. And these are really large trusses, so it was something to not take lightly. Um, I'm gonna use this video to show you mostly how we braced everything. So if you have a project like this and you're curious about the bracing, you can follow what I did here. I'm also gonna show clips of the actual truss installation so you can see how we did it with the crane and we had four people that were kind of on the crew. These the crew, the term crew lightly, uh, my wife and two friends um, and what, where we were stationed to make this happen. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the strong backs first, which are right behind me here. That was the first step that I did well before we were ready to set. And then we'll walk on from there, see how things were set up and braced. So well before we were ready to set the trusses, I went ahead and built these strong backs and put them up there. So it's two two by sixes that are laid at 90 degrees to each other to give a real stiff support for the first truss that goes up. That gable end truss needs something to rest against because all the other trusses are going to be tied to that one. So I did one right in the middle and then a couple about uh, halfway between the middle and the outside edge at the quarter points. Um, so that's where those are at. And then just to make note, when you do lay these up there, I have, you have to sheathe that inside edge if you don't have sheathing up there because the gable and truss isn't gonna come sheathed unless you do it ahead of time. If you don't do it ahead of time, you gotta make sure you space that right so you're lining up with your sheathing down below here. It's kinda hard from, to see from here, but you'll see it up on top when we get there. And just for your reference, these trusses um, have a 37 foot span. Um, they're about 13 feet high, so. All right, strong backs are in. They get anchored to the ground very firmly and that's gonna support your first first truss that goes up. Now we'll go upstairs and I can show you the bracing we did. Okay, here we are upstairs in the room and attic. So these trusses were 37 foot span room and attic trusses, which means we have a clear span end to end, 17 feet wide, and it goes up to eight feet tall. You can look down at that way. So as we laid these, um, I started off putting my braces. I pre-cut them all to 25, and a half inches so they would lay up flush on each end um, which worked fine except for the fact that it took a long time to install these so the crane operator who has seen this many times before suggested doing something like this basically still have the same length of your brace 25 and a half inches but in an inch and a half put a little block of scrap there that way when you're up in the scissor lift or on a ladder you can just quickly drop that in there it stays pretty well and you can screw it in um, that worked out great. The other suggestion was to put them outside of the room in the attic so they never have to come down. The ones up there will need to come down as I sheathe. These ones can stay here forever and provide support. So that was a good tip. I'm grateful for that. It saved us a ton of time by adding these blocks in here so we could just slap these in. So we got the first one up and then um, we put a two by six ledger kind of across the bottom there just to hold it tight and to give a nailing fin for the finishing se sealing material that will go down below. Um, I want to point out here, here's the, the uh, sheathing we put on those strong backs to make sure you were spaced out properly there to match your wall down below. Um, so as we set these, I was up in a scissor lift in the middle, going back and forth, securing those that side over there and this side over here. Um, and then we had two people um, very grateful for their help that day on ladders on that end and on that end, each with a framing nailer. The crane operator was set it in place. I had put little blocks in the spots where they need to have the trusses lined up ahead of time. So all they had to do was ram the truss against the block, nail it in a few places, and I'd get mine secured and we can move on. So it made it really quick by thinking that out ahead of time. So that was a, a key thing there to speed up the process. That way, whoever is doing it doesn't have to worry about getting their fingers caught under it or anything. They can hold it above and just slide it up into that. Once it sets down, it's in place and it's time to nail it. So after we got um, all these set, went down the line, you can see it is kind of staggered up and down with the braces. Um, there was a storm predicted for the following night. So um, again, at the recommendation of the crane operator, who was a great source of information, uh, we went ahead and put in W bracing or diagonal bracing in the attic space here. The reason for that is just to make it basically impossible for the thing to want to domino on you. It's got you know diagonals going each way that'll keep it rigid um, if it gets pushed on from either end. So we went ahead and did that on either side started putting sheathing up here for the floor to walk on and realized it was much quicker just to use ladders and for me to walk across those than it was to try to get the sheathing up here and do all that first so got all those in place so um 
that's what that looks like. I'll go show you the opposite end, the last truss we put in, and that's about it. Okay, here's the last gable end truss we set. Um, so as this one went in, I did the same thing, just attaching um, two by four bracing across the top on either side. It's kind of messy because they're on two different planes because it's a dropped end. If you know what a dropped end is, you'll understand why it's two different planes, but um, they're not a big deal. And then I put this, another, not a strong back, more just of a guide um, in the middle here. So I had something to attach that last truss to to make sure it was on plane with the wall down below. So got that installed, nailed it in across the bottom, and that was it for that. So I just wanna, so I just wanna point out here that these trusses I bought did not come with any sort of temporary bracing specs. They did come with permanent bracing specs, which I have yet to do. But as far as temporary bracing, it was all pretty much based on experience um, and things we learned from the crane operator who helped us out and whatever I could learn online as well. So if you have temporary bracing specs, by all means, use them. That's probably the right thing to do. It certainly is. Um, I hope this just helps give you some idea of what can be done um, if you're in a pinch for that. The other thing I want to point out here, and again, did not have any specs for this, went off of what I um, had found online a little bit, uh, is we have a stairway opening here. You can see at this point, we skip a truss and we doubled up trusses on either end of it to create a 46 and a half inch opening for stairs to go up. So the double trussing gives you that extra strength that you need to span that extra, you know, the, the span that's where the truss is missing, four feet. Um, but it, it also, I'll also go in there with um, two by eights, which is the, the top cord material. And I'll put a bunch of those across um, at intervals where I can um, attach the sheathing onto. So that'll help with that as well. So not sure if that's how it would be done by a pro. I'm not a pro. I just did this with the best information I had, and I think it's safe and I feel good about it. So hope this helped. Um, if you have a project like this, uh, I hope you got some little bit of information out of here. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Did you see him? Did you see a spider? Oh, there's a huge spider! Gross! taking his victory lap with it, I think. Up we go. Okay, now cheer because the trusses are set. Yeah.